Hi, my name is Emma and I'm going to be telling the story of A Wonderful Cake, which is from Ireland. <clears throat> so the story starts off with a mouse, a rat, and a little red hen all living together. And one day the little red hen asks, would anyone want a cake? And the mouse says, I would. And the rat says, I would. And the little red hen says, okay, so who's going to go buy the wheat for the cake? And the mouse says, I won't. And the rat says, I won't. So the little, the little red hen says, okay, I will. So the little red hen comes back and is starting to make the cake and asks, who's going to help me eat the cake? And the mouse says, I will. And the rat says, I will. So the little red hen says, okay, fine. So finally the cake is ready and they're taking it out of the oven. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, the cake pops up and runs out the door. So quickly, the little red hen, the mouse, and the rat all fall behind until the little cake ends up crossing paths with a barn of thrashers. And at this barn, the thrashers ask, where are you going? Why are you going so fast? Why are you running? And the cake says, I'm running from a mouse, a rat, and a little red hen, and I'll run from you too if I can. So the thrashers immediately start following the cake and running behind until the cake cr crosses paths with a ditch of ditchers. And the ditch of ditchers says, where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you running? And the cake says, I'm running from a mouse, a rat, a little red hen, and a barn of thrashers, and I'm gonna run from you too if I can. So the ditch of ditchers immediately starts following until the cake runs into a well of washers. And at the well of washers, they're asking the cake, where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you running? And the cake is like, I'm running from a mouse. I'm running from a rat and a little red hen. A barn of thrashers, a ditch of ditchers. And I'll run from you too if I can. So finally, all of them are chasing this little cake and the cake finally runs into a ford with a fox. So at this ford, the fox is like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you running? And the cake says, well, I'm running from a mouse, a rat, a little red hen, a barn of thrashers, a ditch of ditchers, and a well of washers, and I'll run from you too if I can. And the fox is like, well, how are you going to get over the fort? And so the cake says, well, can't you carry me? So the fox says, okay, hop on my back. And I'll carry you across the water. So the cake hops on the fox's back. The fox starts going over the water. And until the fox says, you're going to get wet. Or you're going to fall off. So maybe climb up my back a little bit more. So the cake goes, okay, and crawls right up onto its neck. And the fox says, I don't think you're high enough. So the cake says, okay, and climbs up a little bit more onto the top of its head. The fox is like, I think you might still get wet there. So the cake says, all right, how, how much farther should I go? So the fox says, come to the tip of my nose. So the cake says, okay, but I can't go any further after that. So the fox, so the cake starts climbing up the tip of the fox's nose. And as the cake reaches the tip of the fox's nose, he flips his nose up and catches the cake in his mouth. And that is the story of A Wonderful Cake.